We've got a pretty early start today, so we decided that we'd have breakfast out on our veranda here. Our hotel offer the service of making the breakfast and bringing it out to this table and chairs by our cottage. So we decided we'd do that, and it's a bit of an unusual breakfast for us. It's a pancake with butter, with some scrambled egg, and a cheese sausage. So it's not something we're normally used to, but... It's actually pretty good. We're actually going diving today, which is why we've got an early start and why we needed to have quite a good breakfast to give us some energy. We're going to go diving off White Island, which is the kind of famous sandbar that sits just outside Camagoon that we saw the other day when we walked to the pier. And if we're lucky, uh, between the two dives that we're going to be doing, we can also stop off on the island, have a little walk around. One of the cool things about having a scooter is you can just get going whenever you want. So we've come down here to Black Beach Divers, and actually we're 15 minutes early. And what was quite cool actually about this dive shop is they give you like a towel and like some demop, demister and stuff like that. So obviously you have to get them back, but it means that you don't have to bring a towel with you and get it all wet. How are you feeling, Robbie? Pretty good. They've got really quite new gear. Um, but it's always fun trying to try on the wetsuit and try on the booties and everything. But I think we've got all our gear ready now and they're just loading up everyone else and loading up the boat. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. Yeah. I think these boats are quite loud, I guess. There you go. The colours on the coral reef on our first dive were amazing. Sadly, we only used our special GoPro on door to filter about half the time because we weren't sure of the picture quality. So the footage is a bit of a mix of gorgeous colours and then just a lot of blue. Sorry about that. As you can see, there were so many fish down there and the train was really interesting. There are so many clownfish in the Philippines. They're actually one of our favourites now because they always swim up to attack you to try and protect their homes and their families. There were tons of fish though. I think you'd probably need to be a marine scientist to name them all. All we did was just swim next to them. These bright blue fish were incredible. We'd not seen anything like them before and you can swim right next to them. Seeing this turtle up close was really the best way for us to end our first dive. We just finished our first dive and uh, it was pretty cool. We saw another huge turtle, we saw loads of little tiny fish, loads of shoals of fish. It was really, really cool. There was quite a current, so we just kind of had to chill and it pulled us along. It was a bit different this time because we're part of a much larger group, so you had to kind of keep your eye on lots of other people around you. But it was really, really interesting. Now we've stopped on the sandbar that's next to Camagoon called White Island, just for some coffee and to have a rest. And there's a beautiful view of actual Camagoon. Uh, you can see like the volcano with all the, roll the clouds like rolling over the top of it. It's really nice. But yeah, so I think we're going to chill here for a bit, have a cup of tea, coffee, and then get ready for our next dive. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Here for one of each. Oh yeah. Cookies. Thank you. It's a nice bit of a different thing to do, isn't it? Have a cookie and a coffee. Getting back into the water the second time, everything seemed to be much more second nature. The dive site is called the Black Forest and is now on our list as one of our all-time favourite sites. Mm. 
Not only did we feel really comfortable, but all the marine life seemed totally unfazed by our presence, so we were able to get up close to everything we saw. Although you may not see it on the camera, the reef was so colourful. Not only were the corals and plants brightly coloured, but nearly every creature seemed to have a brilliantly blue, white or yellow colour on them. We were having such a good time, we didn't realise how quickly we were gulping down our air, so we had to leave the rest of the group and come to the surface a little earlier than we expected. We had to flag down the boat with our fins, but then we did get a little time to relax before everyone else joined us. We just came in from our dive and uh, they got some lemonade, some glasses of ice cold lemonade. Really good to take away the salty flavour. It was actually really, really good in the end. The second dive was so much more enjoyable, I think, than the first dive. It was more relaxed and there was so much to see. Unfortunately, we used up our air pretty quickly. <laughs> so we had to come up to the top. The others stayed down for a while, but Jenny and I came up and it was nice to kind of get out and chat about dive alone before everyone else was out, actually out of the water. The other boat that actually went out at the same time hasn't even come in yet, they're just coming in now. So we were, we were out in and out pretty quickly I think, but now we have to do the hard part which is actually going and paying the money for it because diving can be quite expensive and uh, I think four dives in the last space of a week is starting to add up and as any of you who watch this our videos you'll know that I don't really like spending that much money. <laughs> Shuko with some bread and I've got pasta with mozzarella and peas and mushrooms and it looks absolutely delicious. We're quite hungry after our dive so we're going to eat this very quickly I think and then decide what we're going to do for the rest of the day. The food here is honestly so good. This pasta is amazing. How is it? I never order shakshuk for some reason, but whenever I do, absolutely love it. Bit spicy, bit egg, bit of bread, lots of tomato, lots of flavour. I don't know where you can go wrong. Yeah, I'm going to climb up. Do you want to come up? Is she allowed? Is she allowed? Okay. There you go, be very careful, because this might fall off. So sorry, we totally forgot to end the video yesterday. It's actually the next day now. We got back after our dive, crashed out because we were absolutely knackered, then just did a little bit of work and went out for dinner and just totally forgot. We had a really nice day out on the dive boat and it was good that we had the opportunity to go to White Island as well so we don't have to also pay for a boat to take us over there on a different occasion. But today we are actually going to pretty much just relax. We're going to take a day off from the vlog so we can catch up on a few of the videos that we've been filming recently. And so we'll see you in the next video tomorrow when we're out exploring Camagan again. <laughs> <laughs>